Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Well, I don't know how many of you have been to see the portal, the Dublin, New York portal. Uh, I think it's a really ingenious idea, a way that people in Dublin can look through a screen and see instantaneously people in New York and, and vice versa. Versa. Now, the first portal was set up in 2021, uh, between, and it was set up between uh, Vilnius in Lithuania and Lublin in, in Poland. And that was the first one. So people in Poland could look, stand in front of this screen and, and see people looking back at them uh, in Lithuania and Poland, and they're waving at each other and everything else. So the second one was set up in May of this year. And the, the portal, the two portals, one of them is in New York City near the Flatiron Building, and the other one is in O'Connell Street in Dublin. Now, you know what? I haven't been to see it yet. I've been in Dublin just recently. I just never even thought about going to look at it, to be honest. But uh, great idea in principle. You've got people can stand on O'Connell Street in Dublin and wave at their cousins who are in New York as they look back at them. Uh, it seems like a great idea. The problem is with any great idea... There's always stupid people that have to wreck it. So you had people holding up pornography in front of it so that uh, people in Connell Street are holding up pornographic photos for people to see in New York, that uh, people in New York are stripping off and there's nudity coming through for the people in Dublin to see. You, you even had some Egypt who held up photographs of the planes going into the Twin Towers on 9-11, somebody in Dublin holding that up to the screen to try to annoy the people in New York. And so they've had to adapt the technology. They've had to use a little bit of a time lapse and some blurring technology to blur out stuff that uh, shouldn't, that really is only going to create a lot of problems. They've had to post security at the portals as well. Uh, it's, it's just a shame. You know, technology advances, but people, it seems, don't. People are still people and people are still stupid and people are still capable of spoiling anything that's good. I've discovered after uh, nearly 40 years now in Christian ministry that uh, you should never underestimate people's capacity for love and greatness and kindness, but neither should you ever underestimate people's capacity for stupidity as well. People are people. But this idea of a portal, I love it. I love the fact that you could be in one country and looking through and seeing what's happening in another country and they're looking back through the portal at you. Uh, in, in a sense, this is not a new idea. It's new technology, but it's not a new idea. C.S. Lewis wrote his Narnia novels about a portal, a, a portal where you could not only see into another place, but you could actually pass through the portal. In C.S. Lewis's Narnia novels, it was a wardrobe, and you could walk through the wardrobe and out the back of the wardrobe and find it. You, you started off on planet Earth and you ended up in, in Narnia. Uh, great idea that you could pass through a portal, not only see through it, but pass through it and pass instantly from one world into another. Uh, science fiction stories and science TV series such as Quantum Leap and all these kind of things and even the time machine and everything else. These have all focused around this idea that you could be in one place and just even, I'm thinking even of Star Trek and uh, the, the teleporters where they would instantly land on the face of, of a planet. These are all the I same idea as a portal. But you know, the most wonderful portal of all is the Bible as God's word. The Bible helps us to stand in our world with all its mess and to look into the kingdom of God and see God's world and God's reality. And God's reality is just as real, in fact more real, than what I see round about me here uh, in Ireland where I live. But not only does the Bible enable you to see another reality, the Bible is not just like the portal on O'Connell Street or at the Flatiron Building. The Bible is like C.S. Lewis's wardrobe. You can actually pass through. You can pass from death to life. You can pass from darkness to light. You can, you can pass from living with, with all the limitations that you've lived with up until now and begin to access God's supernatural power in your life and the ability to change you and transform you and to answer prayer and to work miracles because God has created the ultimate 
portal. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm impressed by the technology of the portal in Dublin and, uh, and New York, even if I'm depressed by the people that spoil it by their stupidity. But I'm much more impressed and much more delighted by the portal of the Word of God that takes me from my humdrum daily activity into the glorious presence of God to live my life for him. May you know the reality of that today. May God bless you and join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.